In today's episode, we're exploring an abandoned laboratory that was used by the U.S. Navy to test jet engines. The facility was built in the early 1950s as a way to develop increasingly advanced aircraft and stay ahead during the Cold War. The laboratory would operate for several decades until closing in the 90s, likely due to the collapse of the Soviet Union and the equipment simply becoming outdated. The Navy removed sensitive documents, salvaged what machinery they could, and then left the rest to rot. Now, join us as we venture inside to discover what's left. It's pretty destroyed. How bad is it? Graffiti everywhere, shit thrown around. Pretty scrap. Oh shit, was this a power plant? Could have been any warehouse with offices built in it. You wanna go upstairs right yeah, here? Yeah, there's stairs right here. About to get wet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, it's definitely not a power plant, but it looks interesting. So they would have tested jet engines here. So I wonder if this was something to direct the exhaust from the engines or something to do with airflow. That looks like what it was. Look at this door. It also looks like it was wrapped in asbestos. Yeah. So don't fuck with it. Looks like it. Yeah. Don't touch it. Just put your way into it. This door has to move. Come on. It skipped the gears. It's jammed. Or is it unjammed now? No, it's still jammed. It's skipping gears. What's the CSGO bomb code? <laughs> Just kind of an overview here. out there yeah it was all wiring over here this was for all the computers that ran it the testing stuff
Whoa. This is a beat up control room. It's still kind of cool. What kinds of ports are these? Are you familiar with these? Looks like an XLR with a bunch more pins. Yeah, I was thinking like a microphone looking cable. Panels are to be covered at all times except when being worked on. Thermocouple reference junction. There's an alarm here that's labeled as man trapped in cell. What's a cell? Is one of those tubes considered yeah. a cell? Yeah, it says alarm indicates test cell temp, and then there's a light that says man trapped in cell. Huh. Wow. This testing sign above the door is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So there's holes in the side of that building over there, and they kind of line up with the test cells in this building. So there probably would have been tubes that went across this whole open area and fed into that building. capsules are where the jet engines would be placed for testing. Air would flow through the tube to simulate the conditions they would experience during flight. It appears the engines would have been connected to an array of wires to be controlled and monitored during the test. down, full floor. Whoa, that is soft. I don't know if this is a good idea. Yeah, I'm not even sure this is supposed to be tilted like this. I think it's just kind of falling out here. So this essentially would have been a giant door it would slide shut on these rails here and seal up to this and then you'd have your capsule for testing jet engines. Looks like that down there might have been some kind of a deflector to absorb thrust. dissipate it. All those tubes back there kind of look like a cooling system also. Yeah, this is where they actually probably brought the stuff in. Check it out, all these wires on these individual connectors. They're all just cut, but it's a lot of connectors up here. And then I'm sure connecting to the engine, they have all these connectors. Now that's a door. 
but because this thing is slid into the open position, there's just a wall there right now. If you're wondering who that is we're exploring with, that's a fellow explorer we met while we were in Japan. He goes by Gakuron Man, and we'll include his link in the description. These are some serious doors over here. Another one of those testing signs. Oh wow, a lot more controls. This area would have been pretty incredible to see before all the controls were ripped out. More windows. Check out test chamber 1W. Wow, that's kind of spooky. There's a draft coming through making this sheet move. Big draft coming through now. All right, seal us in, Brian. You're going to be stuck in here with us, too. That's as far as it goes. Yeah. Damn. It's looking forward to starving to death in here. <laughs> Someone actually broke through this. That is something. Yeah, glass. they broke through two panes here. Three panes here. Three panes here. Yeah, look. One, two, three. Wow. That's three. And there's more panes over there. So yeah, there was at least five panes, probably six. Must have gotten crazy noisy in here. Everything's wide open here. It's a lot of pipes. This is a sketchy floor. Wow, that all used to be catwalk, and it's all scrapped. It's scrapped the catwalk? Yeah, it's all gone. Over here as well. Wow. Okay, let's go up one more floor. Seriously. 
Looks like uh, the floors on this level look okay. These floor grates are always sketchy in these kinds of places. Looks okay until you get to here. They look bad over here. Misaligned and stuff. I don't know. Oh wow, the machinery that I've seen pictures of is all gone. Maybe they're in the other building that looks similar. It's a thick door. This is more controls left in the other building. Wow, not a half bag control room. It's better than any other control room in this facility so far. I kind of wish this place had security because it would probably be worth it if it was all intact mm. to deal with it. But this place has been scrapped pretty good over the years. If it's abandoned, there will be a penis. That's a guarantee. It looks, it looks more like three penises, to be honest. I don't know what sort of proportions the guy had that drew that. All right, we're heading out of this building because it had most of the machinery stripped out. We're gonna try to find one that still has the I don't know what they were. Giant fans, probably. I think everything's gone. Yeah. Damn. Check the other side. Oh, cool. With large portions of the machinery removed, it was difficult to tell exactly what these were. Since this building used to have large tubes connecting it to the test cells, I think it's likely these were blower motors to create the airflow necessary to test the jet engines. This looks like the control room for this building. Have to squeeze through here. Wow. That's cool how it goes all the way to the ceiling up there. On both sides. It's a shame this is pulled away from the wall too. Probably scrappers trying to get at the wires.
Look at these terminals over here. Oh, it's just a shell of it. Oh, the screen's over there still. It's just taken apart for some reason. It's a lot of switches. Yeah, there's a lot of switches here too. Those are buttons. Inches of mercury per RPM. Unfortunately, after decades of testing at the site, the groundwater had become extremely polluted, making any future redevelopment unlikely. For now, it will continue to sit abandoned.